In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where you're unable to connect accounts on Epic Games. So the first thing we need to do is just close out of the Epic Games launcher and you'll need to go and open up an internet browser. Now just head over to the website store.epicgames.com and press enter. Now once you're on this website, we need to select sign in in the top right hand side and then go and make sure you're signed in to your Epic Games account. Once you're signed in, click on support in the top navigation. Now from here, scroll down and select show all tools and then scroll down and click on your support requests. Now scroll down and select your platform from this list. So this will be the application that you mostly play Epic Games on. Mine is going to be computer. Then scroll down to product and click on the drop down arrow and click on accounts. Click on contact reason and select linked or console account. Now what you need to do is come down to the description and type something along the lines of hello. I'm trying to link my Epic Games account with my Steam account. Now obviously you'll have to change this depending on what account you're trying to link and then you'll need to go and provide your username for both of the accounts that you're trying to link. So this will be for me my Steam username and also my Epic Games username and then just mention every time that you try to link the accounts that you're getting this unable to connect error message and once you've done that you can go and press continue. And now what it's going to try and do is help you with this AI answer. So you can read through this to see if it actually does help with your issue. But if this doesn't resolve it, just scroll all the way down to the bottom and then just click on submit an email request. Now what's going to happen is this will be sent to the support team. And after a couple of working days, they're going to reach back out to you and basically walk you through the process of linking these two accounts together. Sometimes the support team, they'll be able to do this manually from the back end. So all you need to do now is hold tight and wait for that email. And it's really as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.